All right, what is up, my entertainment junkies? We are back with a new game. No. Oh wait, it's Nine Souls. I forgot about that. All right, new game, standard mode. Wait, did that say standard and story? Uh, mistakes have may have been made. Can I skip this? No. Did, did that bastard cut off my ear? Motherfucker, I'll go for your throat. Eee. So... Um, why is it not full screen? Hmm. This may be a problem. Let's see if I can't. Uh, application audio capture, display capture, game capture. Okay. See if that helps. Nope, I need that up. Hmm. Oh well. I will figure that out before I record again. Oh wait, no, I already figured it out. Alright, it's fixed. What on screen troubleshooting? Yui. Okay. No, oh, fuck. I knew you were here. I could smell your cooking from way out there. Snacking on grilled fish again, are you? Well, I am a cat. Aren't you excited for dinner night? The next, the auntie next door taught me how to make garlic noodles yesterday. I won't mess it up this time. Will there be fish? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let you down. Did you come running to me just to talk about dinner? <laughs> oh, right, the flower. Okay, okay, so something about a flower. Uh, something's fucked up. Shit, shit. Um. Display capture. Nope, that needs to be on. That needs to be on. Game capture. Alright. More on screen trouble troubleshooting. Okay, I have a dash attack. Can't dash in the air. Dead person's note. I found the exit, but there's no way to go. This messy note seems like the last words, but he's ceased. Okay. Peter form three hit combo. Okay, so if I do it in the air, it keeps me airborne. It doesn't look like I can aim down, so no pogoing. One day the noble swordsman passed by a stone. Suddenly someone jumped out from the stone. It turned out to be a great hero. The handwriting is quite neat for something written by a child. In the bottom left corner, there is a note stating 
that the this is the 63rd episode. Okay, so I think I have a guard. I thought there'd be some in the Forbidden Cave, but I haven't seen a single one. Why are you crimson his hibiscus? Crimson hibiscus, is that the flower you've been fussing about? Yeah, that's the flower they use for ceremony according to the shaman, the bigger the flower. There's one right up there. Ah. Which means I'm gonna... Okay, that's a problem. No. Bad pig. Bad. Bad. Get back, Pumba. No. No. Pumba. We're getting all the way up there. Yada yada. Fucking jackass. It snatched the flower away. Oh, well, probably needs to need it more than I do. It's about to get dark. Let's head back to the village. I'll go look somewhere next time. Boar hadn't gone too far. Are you gonna grab it back for me? Dang king boars can run real fast, you know. Okay, I'll wait here. Alright. Uh, climb up. I'm a ninja. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I have to use that. Oh god. Okay, so I'm already dealing with enemies. Yep, that's a guard. I wonder what guarding does. is actually okay I guess I will come back there next time I guess this is a metro metrovania that bitch come in hey bitch My flower. These flowers appear to around Peach Blossom's village are used by villagers as a decorative during the ceremony. Legend is Legend has it that harvest will be a bountiful if the ceremony is successful. While that hasn't been proven, everyone still gets more food after the ceremony. Okay. We. I wonder if I have fall damage. Nope. No fall damage. Here's your flower, you little bitch. Yeah, it wasn't that big. Too hard. Don't push yourself too hard. It was only a year ago when you still needed my help to walk, remember? Here. Whoa, really got it back for me. It's even prettier up close. Given time, even the prettiest flowers will wilt. That's okay. At least we're here to see it, even if it won't be here long. I don't really see the uh, meaning behind all this. But still went out of your way to help me retrieve it. Thanks, why? Ye. We should head back. We'll be in trouble if they find us here. I got a hat. I am a cat in a hat. If I can get a top hat, that would be funny. Or if I find a cat in a top hat. Wow, this festival market is so lively. I don't see a single person. Look, every household has a dried meat and someone even brewing wine. 
We've had a bountiful harvest for two years in a row since you arrived. You've pretty much become the villagers' official good luck charm. They're just coincidences. Uh, don't say that. When you helped the elders with the rat infestation, we were all talking about how fortunate we are that you have around. Also, praise be this. Of course, it would be rats. I am a cat. God damn it. <sighs> also, praise be the souls pour blessing of peach blossom village your village and ensuing ensuring that they are all whatever. If there's nothing else I need to do, I'm going back to dry fish. Stay for a bit. You should take the chance to check out the stalls and mingle with everyone. Leave the fish to me. Catch you later. Fine. The sunrise grace comes, sunset sigh. Every day a cherished sky. Shan Chan's been buzzing with energy of late. I know, right? Remember how gloom, gloom he used to look when his parents left? You misspelled gloom. But that guy he hangs around with, he's a bit of an oddball. Do you say anything else? No? Okay, just that poem. Uh, just keep walking. Do story time. In the old days, our ancestors lived in harsh wilderness. They had to endure the bitter cold and the onslaught of savage predators. Unable, unable to bear watching us humans suffer, the ten merciful souls descended from the heavens. At first, some were ignore, ignorant and raised their swords towards the souls. Those fools were met with divine wrath and their bones were ground to dust. Those who were pious and reverent followed the souls to the land outside the 99 heavens, a para paradise where everyone could Dare prosper. You. The all-knowing and all-powerful souls bestowed upon their wisdom upon us, teaching us about the truth of all things. That when the peach ripened for the harvest, the souls will select several of us for a great privilege. Those fortunate enough to be chosen will live the rest of their lives among the divine souls. So be good, children. Listen, follow, and believe that, and you may also be chosen one day. Okay. Divine souls above, I humbly ask that you he heard my request. What the hell are you looking at? Beat it. I don't want any part of this dumb festival. You don't look much wiser than yourself. yourself. What? And just who do you think you are, pint sized punk? <laughs> <laughs> Curse this damn ceremony. One day I'll show everyone that's really. <sighs> Never mind, you wouldn't get it. Badass. All those nonsense is making my wine go sour. Last year, my daughter was one of the lucky to be chosen. What a blessing. I wonder what the... What it's like to live with the gods. You're back. Did you see anything interesting? I cleaned up the crimson hibiscus. Ooh, you got me. I'm gonna sew it into my clothes later. Are you a boy or a girl? It's not the rule, but those who are chosen usually wear a flower that it makes you look a lot cooler when standing up there. Is this something to be happy about? Mm. Of course. I'll be seeing my mom and dad soon. I wonder if they'll notice that I've grown taller. Let's head inside. I'm hungry. Mm. Yee. I'll be leaving in a few days. Will you make sure to eat properly when you're on your own? I will eat lots of fish. Remember, the rice is stored in the bin and the fruit on the table that should be eaten before it dries out. Stop worrying. 
Well, don't forget, okay? I probably won't be able to send letters back to you once I'm living with the souls, you know? It's sad to think that I won't have anyone to bicker with anymore. Aren't you scared? I'm going somewhere I've never been before. Of course I'm a bit scared. If you're scared, then don't go. I have to. Being chosen by the souls is a blessing. Um. Besides, I've always had this feeling that one day I'd have to part with ways with you, ye. Nothing predetermined. You make your own dis destiny. Don't get caught up in superstition. Mm. You might be right, but parting isn't necessarily a bad thing. I ran into the Forbidden Cave for the first time with when my mom and dad left. That's where I met you. Who would have thought that playing a flute would make someone pop out of that stone? If you say so. But, since I'm leaving so soon, can you grant me one request before the ceremony? What is it? The story you were telling me about the man fighting the flood. Tell me, how did it end? Did he make it home? He didn't die, did he? Okay. Pretty! Where did we leave off? He said uh, he journeyed over mountains and rivers. Um, is this a playable cutscene? A uh, backstory? Peach Blossom Village, Night of the Ceremony. Oh, I don't get you to know the story. Lord E, greetings from your humble servant. I was afraid you would lose track of time, so I called to remind you. If you skip out tonight, you'll have to wait another two years for the next harvest. I know. Why am I getting up here's old vibes? House security and Aitman facility. Okay. The system indicates that they are currently on low alert status. They are only a handful of guards on patrol. Please excuse my concern, but if the alarms are triggered, the situation may become untendable. By the way, do you have your mystic nymph on you? I have it with me, but it won't fly. Only parts of it are working in order. It's been too long since I recharged it. That's a pity. If I had enough power, you could make use of the Mystic Nymph Scout mode for reconnaissance. Your body has just made a full recovery after all, so it might be best to throw a caution to the wind. Wouldn't be too hard just to leave a trail of bloodshed. Certainly, your humble servant has never doubted your martial powers, Lord E. Proceed as you wish. You may fortune you. May favorite laugh. May something. Words. Wow, firecrackers. Sean sure has an active imagination all the long way. Jesus Christ, it gets, it's getting loud. Oh, there's a fireworks. Uh, are those villagers or the souls? Trees have blossomed beautiful this year. The gods have... Whatever. One old, one middle-aged, one young. Shaman Peach Blossom Village hereby receives your degree. In accordance with the soul's order, we humbly pay respects to the flying throne. Jesus Christ, I was afraid of that. Oh. 
They're twisting their heads off. Jesus fuck. And one more. Thank you for care taking care of me these past two years, ye. Time for me to go. Fucking idiots. Oh God. Oh God, spare us from your ass. What's happening, ye? The ye you know is why. Lie, but you're the only one family I have left. Wait, I don't understand. What was that? Why are you? What? Where are you going, Yi? Going down! Alright, well... I wish I knew where save points were, but... That was like a good episode, good place to stop this episode. Thumbs up if you liked the series so far. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.